Today on Let's Celebrate TV's Basic Skills Day, it's when to shake or stir a cocktail. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today it's all about cocktails. Actually, it's all about when to shake or stir a cocktail. So let's get started. I have some equipment here in front of me. I have some shakers, some glasses, a few other little things. So people always ask, when do you shake or when do you stir a cocktail? Now we've all heard James Bond, of course, ordering his martini, shaken, not stirred. A martini, shaken, not stirred. So let's talk about those two schools of thought. Shaking first, when do you shake a cocktail? What does it do for you? Shaking will get your drink a lot colder, a lot faster. It's really critical for fruity drinks like a Cosmo or something frothy like a whiskey sour, something that you want to get all foamy. That's when you really shake. Stirring on the other hand, get your drink colder. It takes a little longer and it doesn't get as diluted. It's really used for drinks out of pure alcohol, like a classic martini or a Manhattan. So, how do you do it? I have some shakers here. First, this is a three piece, also known as a cobbler shaker. The little lid, and then this topper here, a good one. This part goes on the outside, and then your little lid. This is really great for when you're just learning to make cocktails because you can shake it with one hand. You don't have to worry about things spilling as much. The disadvantage is, you don't get a lot of room for drinks in here. And sometimes even this little lid can be tough to get off. It's a little tin, it's called a Boston shaker. And you put it over another shaker, or in this case, a glass, and you shake it that way. Now this is much larger. You can get these in different sizes, smaller ones, bigger ones, and you'll get a longer throw for the ice to move around and your drink to get really cold. Now. The disadvantage is, again, it can be sometimes a little tough to get apart and they leak a little more if you don't get them just right. So I started out with a three piece one. As I got used to bartending, I graduated to this. So that's what I recommend you do. Then there's stirring. When do you stir a cocktail? Like we said, pure alcohol. And the only really way to show you both of these techniques for stirring and shaking is to make a cocktail. So I'm going to make my favorite cocktail, which is a Manhattan. Now I explained to you the difference between shaking and stirring and why people do it or don't do it. My personal preference, and it really is a preference. I like all of my cocktails shaken. They get colder. I don't mind my Manhattans and martinis being just a little bit diluted. That way, if I have more than one, I don't feel so guilty. Okay. So to demonstrate these two techniques of stirring and shaking, we're going to make a cocktail. We're going to make my favorite a Manhattan. So I have here my glasses, same amount of alcohol. Manhattans, most, most cocktails are ratios. It's two parts whiskey to one part sweet vermouth. Let's do the stirred one first. So in my glass here, I'm going to fill it about halfway full of ice. Now I have this rather sinister looking spoon here. It's very long. It has these little prongs on top. This is just a bar spoon. Prongs are used for getting cherries and olives and things out of narrow jars. If you don't have something like this, you can use a chopstick. You can use the long handle of a wooden spoon even. So the thing about stirring, you don't want to stir it, move the ice around up and down and get it all aerated. You want to keep this on the edge of the glass. And just follow the glass around. You don't need to Go up and down like that, that's going to aerate it. Just go around in a circle. Now this is kind of handy. It has this little squiggle on it that helps you do it. But you want to just swirl it around. This is going to take 45 seconds maybe to get it nice and cold. You'll know when it's cold enough for you. Okay. This is cold enough for me. Let's pour it out. 
have a nice martini glass, a nice cherry. We need to strain it. This is called a Hawthorne strainer right on top. It's going to hold that ice back and get your drink right in. Beautiful. Look at that color. Clear. It's chilled just enough. I'm going to put this aside. Now we're going to do my favorite. We're going to shake one. Tin on top. A little tap to make sure it's on tightly. Now, when you shake, not up and down, you want to go a little horizontal. That way you get more of a throw. It'll get colder for you. Like this. That's all you really need to do. You have a better grip on it. Now here's the hard part. Sometimes they don't come off easily. This one did. Another glass. My strainer. Now you see the difference in color. It's foamy. It's a lighter color. That's because there's a lot of air in there shaking it up. There's little ice crystals in there too. That's going to make it all colder and dilute it down a bit. Now, if you don't want those little ice crystals, you want to be refined. You can use a double strainer like this and just strain through. This will catch all those little ice crystals, but you'll still have some of this aeration. Now, don't worry. This is a perfectly fine drink. All those bubbles will go away after a minute and it's already settling out and they'll both look like this. This will just be a little colder. If you like this episode, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Now, as always, we'll leave all these instructions and maybe some links for some tins and things up in the comment section on YouTube. And we'll see you again on Tuesdays for our regular episodes and Fridays for Basic Skills Day. So until next time, you're all invited to come on over, come on in, and let's celebrate. Cheers.